So we continue the discussion of passing in 2023, question 19, which is about the gravitation. So first is to define the Newton law of universal gravitation, which is what we have learned in the syllabus. So you can read it on your own. So we go to question B. Explain the change of gravitational acceleration when a meteoroid at a distant 3R from the surface of the Earth falls toward the surface of the Earth, where R is the radius of the Earth. So similar to question 18, where the max is 6 max, you need to try to give as many points as you can. So from the definition of the Newton law of gravitation, we have the force is equal to GMM over square of the distance, where the distance is equal to the radius of the Earth plus the distance from the surface of the Earth. So first point, maybe we can discuss about the gravitational acceleration depends on the distance between the Earth and the meteoroid. So we know that the formula for G is F over M, which is equal to GM over R squared. So when the material is at the distance of 3R from the surface of the Earth, so we could roughly calculate that the G is GM over 16R. So when the material falling toward the surface of the Earth, we could say that the gravitational force of attraction between them increases based on Newton's law of gravitation, since the distance is decreasing. So according to the formula that we have the force is increasing, so the gravitational acceleration also increases. And then when it reaches to the surface of the Earth, we can calculate that the G is equal to GM over R squared. So from here, we can conclude that the gravitational acceleration becomes 16 times higher compared to its initial position. So if we have other version of answer as well, we can leave it in the comment section below for this question. We move on to question C. Juno satellite is launched from the surface of the Earth to Jupiter and begin orbiting Jupiter at the radius of 7.05 7 times 10 to the power of 4 km. And you are given with the mass of the Jupiter. First is to determine the escape speed of the satellite from the surface of the Earth. So this is quite simple because we have learned it. So if you, in case you forget about the formula, remember that we have the kinetic energy is equal to the potential energy, okay, which means that we are converting the kinetic energy to overcome the gravitational pull of the, from the Earth. So here we have the formula is square root of 2 gm over r, where g, m, and r, the, the, those are the constant value which is given in the exam question paper. So putting all those values, you have the escape velocity is 1.12 times 10 power 4 meter per second. Question number two, distance traveled by the satellite if the satellite takes 1,825 days to reach Jupiter. So this is some, I don't know, it's a, for my own opinion, it's some quite strange, but maybe there's one assumption that we need to make is that the velocity stay constant okay, during the travel of the satellite to the Jupiter. So for this case, we apply the S equal to VT for the case of constant velocity. Use the answer in one, where we have the constant velocity is 1.12 times 10 power 4 meter per second. Multiply the time where you need to convert it into the unit of second. So the answer here is 1.76 times 10 to power 12 meter. And the next question is gravitational potential of satellite at its orbit. So here you need to take care that, take note that the satellite now is orbiting around the Jupiter. So here the mass and the radius should refer to Jupiter, where we have the mass is given, and also the radius in the given in the question. So put in all those values. So the answer here should be equal to 1.8 times 10 to the power of 9 joule per kilogram. So the last question is about the gravitational field strength of the satellite due to Jupiter. So just apply the formula that G equal to GM over R squared, or you also can apply V divided by R. So this formula will use the value given by the questions, which I would prefer this way. And the final answer of this question should be 25.5 Newton per kilogram, or also the meter per second squared okay, for the unit of these variables. So that's all for this question. Thank you.